The undercurrents of Russia-EU tension were evident in the recent visit by the bloc's foreign policy chief to Moscow. Josep Borrell pressed his counterpart for the release of Alexei Navalny amid speculation that Brussels was considering new sanctions against Russia over his detention. Asked if his country would cut ties with Europe if that happened, Sergei Lavrov was unequivocal. We proceed from the fact that we are ready for that. We are neighbours. They are still our biggest trading and investment partner. Many companies work here. There are hundreds, thousands of joint ventures. If the business is mutually beneficial, we will continue it. We don't want to isolate ourselves from the global life, but we have to be ready for that. If you want peace, then prepare for war. In response, the European Commission said Lavrov's comment underlines the direction in which Moscow wants to take relations between the two powers. What is also very clear is uh, the Russian response or Russia's idea about how they want to advance these relations. For that, we don't need an interview by foreign minister or to local media. For that, we got clear indication and clear response in the way how they, how they, how they uh, responded to the initiative of HRVP to see whether they are willing to reverse the negative trend in our relations. So whatever Russia is doing is basically uh, un um, underlining their idea how they want to shape the relations with the European Union. The arrest of President Putin's most outspoken critic is just the latest incident over which the EU has felt compelled to impose sanctions on the Kremlin. Punitive measures were applied after Russia's annexation of Crimea in 2014. Relations have been in a downward spiral since, with little hope of an upturn anytime soon. Neil O'Reilly, Euronews.